Okay, so I want to demonstrate some core and knee stabilization exercises. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is get our hamstrings warmed up. Take the Swiss ball. Make sure that your head is supported so that you don't go into an axial extension of your neck. And as a warm-up, you always want to warm up your hamstrings. Just bend the knees, bring the ball towards you. We do about 20 of these. Now, what's important to note is that this movement is occurring from my center, from my core, even though it's bending the knees and bending the hips. I'm always keeping my core and my abs nice and engaged. Then we can go into single. So I'll go into tabletop position with my opposing side. This just Keeping the leg in this position just, again, stimulates the abdominals to contract. We're always progressing with our exercises from easiest to most challenging. Legs. Next exercise, go ahead and grab the ball between your thighs and your legs, moving from your, again, moving from your uh, core. Lift the ball up. And when you do these exercises, what's critical about your neck is that you keep that head nod, that you don't go into extensions. No lifting the chin when you do this. Straighten your legs out, put the uh, heels of your feet on the center of the ball, and go ahead and bridge up without arching the back. Notice the position of my arms, this would be stage one. So I'm weight bearing through my forearms and my hands for stability. Stage two, you can already see that I've got less stability. And when you feel that that's become easy, maybe over a couple of days, weeks, or even months, go into stage three. Always breathing comfortably and nice with your exercise routine. Don't ever hold your breath. Next exercise, grab the ball on either side. The in step of your foot. You're going to start in tabletop position, 90 degree bend at your knee and your hip, and extend towards the corner of the room. So similar movement as to squatting. Never letting your arch back, or, or your back arch, excuse me. So you're always maintaining that core stability. be a hamstring curl. Again, stage one, stage two, those that are ready for it, stage three.
Grab the ball on either side again. Start in tabletop position. And go into terminal knee extension of the knee. So that's all the way straight at the knee. And then just bend. You're getting an active stretch through your hamstrings. Heels go on the center of the ball again. You're going to bridge up. Maintain this bridge this time so you're not going to drop your pelvis down. Bend your knees and push the ball away from you. Start in tabletop position, extend and hold, and turn the ball like a steering wheel. 